Let me tell you a little story about a man named James Monroe. Born in Virginia on April 28, 1758, he would become the last founding father to serve as president. At 18, he dropped out of college to join the Continental Army, where he befriended George Washington. Four years later, he went back to school to study law under Thomas Jefferson. At 27, James married Elizabeth Courtright and together raised three children. Destined for a life in politics, he served in the Continental Congress, Senate, and as Governor of Virginia. He was also Secretary of State and Secretary of War at the same time. In 1817, James Monroe was elected as the nation's fifth president, winning 80% of the vote. Sadly, he was also the last president to wear a powdered wig and knee breeches. Many say James is most famous for proclaiming the Monroe Doctrine, which said the U.S. wouldn't stand for any more European interference in Latin America. The capital city of the West African country of Liberia is also named after him, and he is featured in the painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware. James died in New York on July 4, 1831, at the age of 73, becoming the third president to die on Independence Day. And there you go, a little story about a man named James.